Hi, welcome to my channel Ruby Net Crochet y Tejido. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to knit this beautiful cowl or neck warmer. It's really easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here's the list of material you're gonna need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel that you'll find the English version in there. If you want to make this hat, you can cast on 80 stitches and do the stitch of the cowl or neck warmer and you're going to work for 9 inches and do the rounds of the crease. You're going to do two together, two together, two together and the next stitch, one round on it, one round of two together, two together and then you cut the yarn, pass it through those stitches close your hat and you have a beautiful this, set. This uh, neck warmer or cowl that I'm gonna do is to do a matching set with this hat. The yarn, this one is a slightly little bit lighter than the hat but no as much. So this hat, my daughter, she bought one for herself in her store because she loved the pom-poms and when she came home I saw the her hat and I said I absolutely love the pom pom so the next day when she went to work she got me another one I said you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a cowl or neck warmer to do a matching set with this hat these hats are made in factories and stuff they are not done uh, somebody doing one by one this is done in machines so I will try to do this a stitch and I think is a net a seed stitch a pearl stitch, a C stitch, and then start the next stitch again. So that is, I think, the stitch design. So I'll try to duplicate that stitch and a neck warmer or cow. The only thing that this yarn is just a little tint, slightly tint lighter than the yarn for the hat. This is the closest that I have, but not bad. When you have it on, Nobody gonna notice that it's just a slightly darker this one, but you see it's almost the same. So I hope I can duplicate this beautiful stitch because I absolutely love this gorgeous pom pom. To make this cow or neck warmer, I'm gonna use this Loop Centre Impeccable Medium 4, 100% acrylic, 128 grams, 245 meters. The color is soft rose, and they recommend a five millimeter netting needle. This time I'm going to use the 5mm netting needle. Sometimes I use a bigger size, a smaller size, but this time a 5mm. The cable is the 14 inches, a round counter and marker, tapestry needle, scissor, and measurement. This stitch tape. is multiple of 4 plus 1 to close the circumference, so I'm going to cast on 125 stitches, 124 for the design, and the 25 from the 125 too close. The stitch is multiple of 4 plus 1 to close the circumference so I'm gonna cast on 124 plus 1 so I need to leave the tail long enough to cast on all those stitches so I'm gonna wrap here 20 times that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, fold it in half, 20, and 20 is 40, and fold the one more is 60, you see three strands, you drop those three strands, and hold it right here, and fold the one more, and 60, and 60 is 120, plus a piece for the 125, and a little piece for the tail. I always like to leave extra, it's better extra then not to, not to have enough at the end when you <laughs> have cast on 115 stitches you see you don't have enough so I did a slip knot and the tail is always by my thumb and I'm gonna cast on my 125 stitches I'll meet you here when I have all my stitches in the needle. Oh, 
Once you cast on all your stitches, you're gonna make sure that they are not twisted because we're gonna close the circumference because we're gonna work a two by two ribs. So make sure that it's not twisted, otherwise you will have to undo this part and start all over again. So you're gonna pass the first stitch to the right hand needle and the last one that you did, you're gonna pass it over and cast it off. I lost that one. There we go. And then you're gonna place it back. And then you're gonna place the marker. And you're gonna start with two net. And two pearl. Two net. And to pearl, and like that, you're gonna continue working until you have one and a half inch for the border of two net, two pearl, around this much. And this is a very easy stitch that we're gonna do. I did the border and I did a little bit over an inch and a half. I did eight rounds and I need to keep that in mind that I did eight for the next border at the end. So the stitch is a four stitch repetition and a two round repetition. So it's very easy. So you're gonna start with two net, one pearl, one net. And that is the first stitch uh, that you're going to repeat over and over in this first round. So two net, one pearl, one net. And if you look in between the pearl, you have three nets. Now to keep track of your stitch, what you do after you do the pearl, you count one, two, three net, one pearl. See, that way it's easier to remember. Three net, one, two, three net, one pearl. Three net, and one pearl. And like that you're going to continue until the end of 
round one. And then we work in round two, and those are the two round repetitions that you're going to do over and over. Okay, show you one so more time. Rain it. One pearl. And it's much easier like that once you do the two stitches at the beginning because you start with two net and you're going to finish with one that does the three. So once you do the first pearl, it's easier to count. So you do one pearl, three net, one pearl, three net, and so on in this round one. In it, one pearl. Three net, one pearl, and you're gonna continue like this in this round one, and you're gonna finish with the net. I finish with the net stitch and I'm gonna start with one net, three pearls. And that is the first stitch repetition that you're gonna do in this round. One net, three pearls. One, two, and three. One net. You see how easy it is? <laughs> and three pearls. One, two, and three. And what we're doing is one net, a C stitch, a pearl stitch, and a C stitch. That's what we're doing in this design. One net and three pearls. Now that you're going to continue until the end, and you're going to finish with three pearls. Again, one net, three pearls. One net, three pearls. Like that, and you're going to continue all the way until the end of this row with one net three pearl. Now for round three, again, it's the same repetition of one. You're gonna start with two net, and then after that, you count one pearl, three nets. One, two, and three. One pearl, and three nets. One, two, and three. And again, one pearl, three net, one pearl, three net. At the end, you will finish with one net stitch because you start with two and you will finish with one and that will be round three that is a repetition of one Round four is the repetition of two, is one net and three pearls. 
and that's it. Those are the two round repetitions that you're going to do over and over. One net, three pearls, one, two, and three. One net and three pearls. And that's round. I did a few more rounds before I show you what it looked like the stitch. Can you see? It's exactly the same as the stitch of the hat, but this one is like a being steam, it's flat, and this is done in a factory, in a machine probably. And this is done by hand, so as you can see a little bit the different knot on the stitch, but in the material as well. It's exactly the same stitch. I just figured out which one was when I uh, look at it, and it's exactly the same. And you see the color. This one is a little slightly darker than this, but when you put it on with your jacket. You don't gonna see that much different in between these two. So at least I hope. <laughs> and no matter. That's my set. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue working with those two round repetitions until this measure from the border uh, around eight to nine inches. If you want a, a smaller one, a smaller uh, color, you can do that. You can do uh, seven inches and then the inch and a half of border. Or you can do longer. Some people like uh, a lot of material. So for mine, I always do mine around 11 inches. That's the length that I like. So I'm going to work around 8 to 9 inches for this one. And then work on the border. So I'll meet you here when it's time to work the 2x2 two two rib. I have my 9 inches done. Now I'm going to work the 2x2 two two ribs. And I finish with a repetition around 1. So in the same way I start, I finish. I already did the first net, that way my marker stay in place, so I'm going to do my second net. Now two pearls, two net, two pearl. I will work my A rounds, because I did A rounds for the beginning border, so I'll do the same. And then I will meet you here to do the cast off or bind off. I have my A rounds, I'm going to remove the marker because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to knit the first one and the second one. And the first one I'm going to pass over the second one. I'm going to purl the next. And that net that you have behind, you're going to pass over that purl. You're going to purl the next. And that purl that you have behind, you're going to pass over that purl. You're going to knit the next one, and the pearl from behind, you're going to pass over that net. And you're going to knit, and so on. Make sure that you leave these stitches loose here, because if you leave them too tight, you don't want to have any stretch in here. So you're going to pearl the next, and this one you're going to pass it over. Like that, you're going to continue, and you're going to have one stitch at the end.
Instead of using the new ball of yarn that I showed at the beginning, I used a leftover that I had from this set that I did before. I'm going to leave the link in here, by the way, at this set. You see this pink that I use in here is the same as this one, so I use the leftover. That way I don't have to use a full ball. And this is what I have left from that ball. This is the set. It's not exactly the same color, but I can put it on for a set for myself. I absolutely love it, the two of them together. So this one, you see, the stitch is more flat in here than this one, but it's exactly the same stitch. Because this one, I think they steam it. You see, they steam this net stitch in the inside, and then it's more flat in the outside. So if you want to steam yours, can do that. You steam that stitch of knit in the inside and it will be that pearl in the center center of here. Okay? But I, I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna put it on my mannequin with the hat that way you see them together and I will show well, you. Well this end is result. the end result and I absolutely love this cowl or neck warmer. They look amazing and with the hat it's gorgeous. So you see, it's not that much the difference between the color between the hat and the neck warmer. So I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And if you make this beautiful piece and you want to send me some picture, you can do it through my Facebook page, Rubinette Crochet Tejido, or my Instagram, Rubinette Crochet Tejido. Please share my video with friends and family. That way you help me grow here on YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.